What's going on guys, Mecha Ishi here from Funko Pop and Disney's Pete's Dragon movie. We have Pete's Dragon himself, the oversized 6 inch Elliot. Let's do it. Welcome back to another Funko Pop video review and I have from the Disney movie, Pete's Dragon, the oversized 6 inch Funko Pop of Elliot. Now I can't get enough of having dragons in my Funko Pop collection so I had to snatch this up. So you have this oversized window box here with the Pop logo on the top left. Then you have number 206 in the Pop Disney collection. We have the nice artwork there of Elliot and a great window view of the figure inside of the box. And then we have Elliot at the bottom, a little bit more of the same over there at the top of the box. You got the top of his head looking out. And on this side of the box, we have the full concept art of Elliot yelling Pop in front of that lighthouse. That looks very nice. And then in the back, you have the logo of Pete's Dragon, same image of Elliot. And then they show off this other Two pack here with the translucent version of Elliot, which looks very cool. And then you have the little guy Pete. Let's take Elliot outside of this box and let's see what he's all about. All right, I have Elliot outside of his packaging, and this is a cool looking dragon. I mean, I know it's very cartoony looking, but hello, it's from Disney's Pete's Dragon. And not the new live action one that just came out this weekend. This is actually from the original animated cartoon that came out, I think it, it was in the 70s. Now, I only saw that maybe one time in my life, but you know, I can't get enough of collecting. Collecting Funko Pop Dragon, so here's another one for my collection, and I do plan to see the live action one soon with my family. But this looks very cool, you know, you get a lot of great sculpted detail here. You have this nice rich green color for Elliot that encompasses most of his body, but then you have this lighter green area from his neck down to his belly here, and the paint applications are a little bit messy in those areas. All of those dark ridges there are sculpted in, so it's not just a, you know, a dark green line painted across, it's actually sculpted in detail, and they paint painted inside of the sculpt. I do love the sculpt of him, especially this is a Funko Pop figure, so they have the oversized heads, but it is such a good job in representing uh, Elliot from the original animated movie. You can see here with his nose, his nostrils flaring out, the black within those nostrils are painted nicely. You got his lavender tongue, his lone tooth that is done pretty well in that white paint, and you have the deep black surrounding that tongue. And I just love the sculpted detail here, all the way to his nostrils. You got the little ridges on the top of his nose, and his big jaw right there. Of course, you have your standard deep black circular eyes, and he has these thick eyebrows that are done in that nice black paint. I mean, I just love the smile of Elliot here. And then you have these big ears that go downward, and then he has these uh, pinkish little feathers at the tip of his ears. He also has the same color pink on his hair, which is also well sculpted. Take a look at that hairstyle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Great job with the pink applications there. You got all the spiky detail. You got some line work. And then you have his spines in the back. You got the spines done in a lavender paint. Well, you got one, two, all the way down his back. And it goes up and around to the end of his tail. And at the bottom of his tail, you have more of those pink feathers. And as with the front by his belly, you have that lighter green painted on the underside of his tail. And then you have these little baby wings here, which are all in the pink. Nice, flexible plastic here. I don't know how these little wings pick his big body up but they look very cool and well done and then he has his arms posed in a bent position with one finger down doing some kind of magic trick for you and his legs are also in a kneeling position you got some sculpted detail by his kneecaps and he just has these little black spots scattered throughout his arms his legs and even around his tail now all of his fingernails and his toenails are done in this deep black paint application but I really wish I did a better job with the paint applications on his fingernails especially because it does look a little messy like some parts are not fully painted some parts are over painted for articulation is pretty Pretty standard for your Funko figure being only in the head and neck joint where well, you have a full 360 rotation now you are gonna get some resistance at the top of his neck there because of that spine but you can push it all the way around so there you have it guys my video review of the Funko Pop Elliot from Pete's Dragon now again this is from the original animated look of Elliot not the live action version now I do plan to see the live action version soon with my family but I'm probably gonna see the original one first but thank you so much for hanging out with me guys I hope you enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up and check out my channel for other reviews I have done and I have so many cool things coming your way including a lot of Funko Pop reviews so make sure you all like subscribe comment and share you know what to do peace <laughs>